Hey YouTube watchers, this is Chris here. I've been uh, reworking my digital temperature home monitor system, which I decided to turn into a thermostat for my home. The first step here, I wanted to redo everything and create a graphical user interface. Show some pretty colors and icons and stuff. So the old version, you know, I, I have... Um, eight Dallas one-wire temperature sensors hardwired throughout the house in various rooms and I can monitor and graph the temperatures and stuff from those sensors put them on graphs I can tell when my when I can tell my delta T of my furnace I can tell when which rooms are hotter and colder and such etc etc so I decided to, uh, uh, and incidentally, this also monitors my sump pump by pulling in a, a level encoder down on the pump in the pit. Well, anyway, so I've created, I've started creating a GUI here. I got a little toolbar up at the top here, you know, which is this. This is this is the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 2 right now, and. Uh, so now I can have Windows. This is this is the official Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen. So I can name the where the location of each sensor is in the house, studio, in the plenum, basement, main floor, etc., etc. It'll show you the temperature color coded, and then it'll show you the Dallas one-wire temperature ID. I'm basically mapping the ID of each sensor to the location of where it is in the house because sometimes the driver in the Raspberry Pi finds them in a different order so I map them and then in this page I can I can tell I can show uh, with a with a click which ones I want to show in the graph this is my temperature summary page or I have a a graph page where it will blow the graph up a little bit here you can see that my my, my uh, air conditioner is turning on and off you can see the temperatures going down in one of my rooms. This is, I have a window air conditioner in that room. And, um, it's, you know, and, so, and then also I'm working on, um, it's going to be uh, my thermostat for my house too. So I'm going to have be able to have programmable on-off times throughout the day, etc. And that functionality is, is uh, the relay control. I've got a, uh, I'm going to pull it over here and show you a little bit here. I got a, um, I purchased a relay board, which has got three relays on it. So I could turn each one of those relays on and off. So I'm going to, essentially going to wire those into my, uh, my furnace. And then this, this fancy, I, I bought this really nice case for the Raspberry Pi display, so it's a nice wall mounted case, so I'll mount that on the wall where my current thermostat is. But driving home, stuck in traffic, the other, oh, yeah, I love my little throbber. So I have eight sensors, so then each time it scans a sensor, the throbber moves across and then it refreshes all the windows. And um, so there's, I have a GERT board on there too, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything, but there's the relay board. Um, what I was going to say here is I was sitting in traffic the other day on the way home, stuck in traffic jam, and I thought that I want to do, I'm going to have the sensors wireless. And then I started to think about the various uh, uh, radio modules you can get, you know, whatever, like the 2 gigahertz or... 900 megahertz. There's a lot of different little modules out there that you can buy and I thought well wait a minute here I've already got a wireless network in my house my Wi-Fi network Bye, So I've been I have a uh, I'm going to try to order eight Raspberry Pi zeros and I'm going to set up a client server network for you know, as many wire wirelessly connected Raspberry Pi Zeros. I'll set a static IP address in each of those Raspberry Pi Zeros, and I'll have the uh, main console up here pull. 
anything like a socket connection or what have you into each one of the uh, Raspberry Pi zeros and I'll get the temperature from each one of those so I can have the Dallas one wire sensor wired directly to each of the remotely placed Raspberry Pi zeros and have the server up here which is what we're seeing on the screen pull all of the temperatures and any other information I maybe want maybe like humidity or or some discrete input closures etc I'll be able to pull them wirelessly through my Wi-Fi network. The only problem is, is it seems the Raspberry Pi Zeros are in such hot, high demand that they're very difficult to get. So I've put in an email, so I'm going to try to be able to see if I can get by eight of them. They're $5 computers, by the way. They're only $5 each. And then I thought about maybe battery powering them, but for every location that I've got, I've got a plug near there, so I can just plug the wall wart into each one of them. And the only drawback to, with the Raspberry Pi Zeros is, is they don't have onboard uh, Wi-Fi, so I have to buy the little dongle. So the way I figure it, the Raspberry Pi Zero is five dollars, a cheap Wi-Fi dongle. You know, it's maybe eleven dollars. And then you're going to need a wall wart, so there's another eight bucks or so. So times eight or ten, however many sensors I want to place around the house, um, I'm going to do that. And the neat thing about it is too is the the uh, Raspberry Pi Zeros will pull the Dallas One Wire sensors directly. There's built-in drivers to, to get them. That's why I like it so much. The Dallas sensors are very accurate. I mean, they're, they're so accurate, I can tell when I walk into the room and sit down for a little while, my body heat in here tends to make the temperature rise in the room a little bit. So they're pretty sensitive. But anyway, you know, this is, this is just the beginning here. Oh, and this is, um, I'm using a package called Glade, which is paired with GTK, which is a, uh, it's an environment that I can graphically design the GUI and have um, the Raspberry Pi running C code to, to place the widgets and, and uh, accept the callbacks and whatnot from functions defined from various click events and stuff like that from the GUI. Like, you know, if I want to show, uh, I only want to see these three sensors on the graphs, you know, I can turn them off and then you only see the three sensors there I was but I was fiddling I pinched it with my finger so if you go to the uh, the other page here is just shows the graph a little bit bigger oh and incidentally too I have this I have this the Raspberry Pi server here hosting a web page that I can view with my t with my phone so I can see the temperatures in my house from my phone remotely um, I open up a little pinhole through the firewall and I uh, I port forward any requests to the Raspberry Pi to serve up the web page it's just showing the graphs right now but I'm gonna have some two-way communications from my phone you know and you, you can also you know if you've got one to get smart you could turn lights on and off from your phone and stuff like that but I'm primarily interested in just the temperature and monitoring my sump pump so this is just the GUI version. I, I, I've had a I've had a, a non-graphical user interface version running for a long time now. It wasn't controlling the temperature in the house, but this time I've decided to uh, wire it into my uh, furnace and have and build my own thermostat. You know, kind of like my own nest. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for letting me bore you.